As early as 9 a.m., the public gallery began filling up as the nation watched with earnest during the parliament sitting today. Prominent in the public gallery was Stephen Pockowin, Dame Meg Taylor, who showed his support beside Miss Winnie Kiap, and the police commissioner, David Manning. The first order of business was to see if incumbent Governor-General Grand Chief Sir Bob Dudai had the numbers to take part in the secret ballot. Over 90 members stood up showing their support for the incumbent Sir Bob Dudai. The Parliament clerk and the attendants collected the votes in a secret ballot and tallied the votes and passed it on to Speaker of the National Parliament, Job Pommet, to deliver the result, which saw the elimination of lawyer Stephen Pockowin. Bob Dadai, 69. Mr. Stephen Pockowin, 3. And Miss Winnie Kiap, 31. Honourable members, the candidate with the least number of votes, Mr. Stephen Pokowit, will be excluded from further ballot and a second ballot shall be held immediately. Following the elimination of Pokowin, the second secret ballot was held, which saw Sir Bob Darai retain his seat with 71 votes to 33. Deputy Opposition Leader Douglas Tumuriesa was first to convey his congratulations and had this message for Sir Bob Darai. That you sit down inside of this powerful office. It is your responsibility, Governor General, to remain impartial and be a protector and a guardian of the constitution of Papua New Guinea. Your election is an election of confidence in this high office. Serve the interest of this great nation, Governor General. Mr. Speaker, let me emphasize that the buck stops with you, Governor General. Prime Minister James Marape then congratulated all those nominated and said in the interest of stability and continuation, it was fitting that Sir Bob Darai retained his post. Also into this vacancy that was looming, or the another opportunity to vote that was looming in our term of parliament. And right from the start, uh, we had no reason to doubt Sir Bob's uh, impartial standing. Sir Bob's performance as uh, Governor General and long before Ms. Kiap expressed her intention to run or long before Mr. Pokawin expressed uh, his interest to put a hand up, uh, already government had te- taken resolution for continuity and stability. Grand Chief Sir Bob Darai will serve the nation as Vice Regal for another six years as King Charles III's representative. Rocky Iso. National MTV News.